So guys, number 15. Uh, right now it's 934, market just opened. What do we got going on here? So today we had news. We had, I'm pretty sure, unemployment claims. Let me just double check. Uh, you have unemployment claims. You have uh, retail sales. All this. So basically, most of the news came out as bearish for USD, which means that it's bullish for indices. So what happened? So we came up, right? We had this 10 minute breaker. This is expecting this one hour order block. We took it this high. It took it this high. And now we, we wicked down really hard. See how notice NQ is dumping while ES is not? So the pair is not really correlating. Because ES is going shooting up while NQ is shooting down. Uh, most likely we'll see price today consolidate if this is the case. If this is the case, we'll most likely see price consolidate. Alright, let's go in the lower time frame. So today I'm gonna have all my entries based on lower time frame. Well actually hold on. So NQ took out these equal lows and these lows ES did not take them out. Okay. So we have equal lows right here on ES. Okay, cool. NQ is dumping. NQ is dumping. Wait, hold on. Well, NQ is coming down. So honestly, what I'd like to see is if NQ could take it the slow, tap with this breaker, form SMT, have a 10 minute or 5 minute uh, close above, or 10, so, sorry, 5 or 10 minute close bullish, or maybe even 15 as well, right? Even 15 minute. We also have insane bearish SMT too. Look at this, guys. Because NQ... Did not take of this high. ES did take of this high. See that? And it did not take it out. So right now we have SMT right here. With these two highs. And the reason why this is, I think this is kind of cool is because we had a manipulation move. So like, we took of this high. People were like, oh, I'm going to have to short. No, nah, took it out again because of news. News always, that's what happens. Manipulation. And then... Yeah, look at NQ. Holy shit. Holy shit. Kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. Kind of wild. Okay, yeah. Let's go. I want to see the woman. That looks like he yeah, has dumping. So it's just chasing these lows right now. 100% just chasing these lows. But yeah, on ESC4 and equal lows, now we're shooting up. On ES. So very, very strange that price not cooling today. Um, yeah, I want to see NQ take of these lows right now. Let's see NQ take of these lows. I don't want to see a wick, because yeah, let's see if price can come take out the slow. Yes, this is not. Then we have this SMT. We get a f bullish candle close, and we enter long. I just wick, tell me that there's liquidity down there. All right. Okay. Yeah, ES, ES is pumping right now. What I wonder what happens if ES takes this high while well, NQ is just all the way down here. What's going to happen, price? Very curious what's going to happen.
Alright, let's see. Your price is calming down. Had a fat wig projecting. Uh, put on some music, actually. Yeah, look at ES pop into the upside, make it form equal low. So most likely, what's gonna happen, guys? ES takes as slow as manipulation, so because people are entering short, because this is manipulation, right? But if we take these sides again, that's the real manipulation. And then our targets is equal lows. There is one minute order block. I don't think this is the reason why we're stopping right here. <clears throat> I think the second we take of the slow price is going to balance really higher. Target for into these highs up here. If you look at price, guys, if you look at price. You can easily tell that this is drawn liquidity. How easy will it take us to get there? I'm not too sure because ES already did. Ideally, I want to see this price. I want to see NQ take it this low. Come to the upside. I want to see NQ as a stronger pair. I want to see NQ as a stronger pair, guys. Okay, so yes, let me just go five minutes, Shay. So the breaker block traders are gonna enter right here long. I think they're dumb as fuck. They're gonna stop out because these equal lows. The unicorn traders. I want to text a friend of mine because I know he's going to answer long right now. 
I know 100% he's entering lows right now. Alright, there you go. And Q took out these lows. Now I want to see either like a 5 minute or a 10 minute close. Reason why I want to enter a high time frame, simply just because, like I could have entered the one minute, but usually, like I, I recently I've been losing because I've been entering off the one minute close, so I'm gonna wait for the five or ten, depending what looks better. Depending what looks better. I think this unicorn is gonna get fucked in the ass right now. But it might work out, we'll see. I don't think this will work. It might. It might work. Yeah, we had equal lows and ready watch. The second this five minute close is on NQ, I'm probably gonna answer. If you get a bullish close. This is this looks like a really good setup. I like this a lot. Yeah, I don't like how ES is not coordinated at all. ES looks bullish, but even though we have equal lows. Bro, NQ, yo, listen, NQ, what's the draw on liquidity? Where's the draw? Yeah, exactly. Why why is it hard? Okay, look at look at ES. What's the draw on liquidity right now? What's the draw look on ES? Yeah, up here, right? So why why what's so hard about it? Dude, you just, you just gotta stop your little dude, you just gotta stop overthinking it, bro. Stop. It's not like a math equation. It's bro, you gotta think logical. You gotta think log You know why? I know why. Cause you are trying to make it harder than it seems. Yeah, I'll, t I'll tell you exactly what it is. Look, this price, we took out this high. Oh, like, oh, let's enter short. Okay. Oh, this got fucked by news. Generate liquidity. It's chill. That's what Alex says. It's chill. Alright, uh, do I want to enter in a 5 minute close? Possibly. Might enter in a 5 minute close. I'm gonna have a big stop, so I'm gonna enter it on. Oh, damn, this shit. Yeah, but I'm gonna have a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm having a big ass stop, so I'm gonna enter with micros. Because my stop loss is huge. So I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in the 5 minute. So I have a, I have a massive ass stop. But usually I notice that these trades do work out. High time frame close. Even like I can probably wait for 10 or 15 minutes. The low? Yeah, I put it I put it one tick below. Cause sometimes it makes equal lows, right? You know? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, just mark out my micros on NQ chart real quick. Cause yesterday oh, I had two trades for 200 ticks, so 400 tick day yesterday, but I made like only 200 bucks that instead of micros. Oh, it's just biggest stop, more risk. Yes, yeah, so you see five minute close. Like, for example, that's why I, I stopped entering the one minute close. Because, look, I would have been, I'm about to get stopped right now if I enter one minute. Uh, that's why I want to wait for six minute close. is bullish, but I want to I wanna possibly wait for a ten minute close. That's bullish. Or a five. Yes, yeah, so right now we're in the ten minute breaker. This is a high time frame breaker. This is, this is what I like a lot. I love this breaker. 
This setup is low key kind of. I love the setup right now for NQ. This looks really good. I might put my stop loss below this word of block. Very possible, I might. Yo, what's up, Connor? No, dude. Not yet. Not. Because uh, I've been uh, popping my NQ. Alright, yo. I'm gonna. Okay, guys. I'm entering three contracts on NQ. Super big stop. My stop loss is below the order block, and my take profit is on this high. So my stop loss is 130 bucks. So I'm entering big, big stop loss. All right, let's see how the trade plays out, guys. Um. Take profit one. Probably is gonna be. Let me check. Probably this side right here. That's gonna be TP one. TP one to be this high, guys. TP. So very simple. Oh, that TP one. Okay, so right now we have this high confluence, high time frame, ten minute breaker. How do you know? Because first of all. In the higher time frame of the structure, and when the, the, the second big downtrend, right, the second we broke it, it's a 10 minute high time frame breaker. Tap to it, had a good reaction. We took out this slow, bearish, so, sorry, bullish SMT, and we took out the slow inside this order block. And the drawn liquidity is these highs. So my standard manipulation, standard deviation, I'm targeting these highs. The one from 830. Or if it depends on what leg, like in a low time frame, I could be targeting here, but I think in a higher time frame, like honestly, yeah, like if this is the leg, I think yeah, we're targeting probably these highs. Um, yeah, but I have a big stop, so be careful. I, I have three contracts micro, which is like nothing. So yeah, my TP wants uh this. 9.30 high, guys. So this is a... For me, it's a 2 to 1. Unless I can put... I can be more risky, put my stop below the slow. Make it a 4 to 1. But just to make it safe, guys, I'm putting my stop... Um, right here, below this order block. Hmm... Okay, but look, I think the SMT, the bearish one, doesn't matter anymore just because that NQ took out these lows. I think, yeah, because it took out the draw on liquidity, which was this low. And if my if my analysis is correct, then I think now the draw is going to be these highs now. So ideally, I want to see in the next 7 minutes... If we can get a 10 minute bullish close or a 15 minute bullish close, my setup would be super high confluence. Because I noticed that the 5 and 10 minute setups work really nice. So yeah, I have a big stop guys. Yeah, so basically what I'm looking for, guys, is a 10-minute or 15-minute bullish close. Ideally, the 15-minute, because I think the 15-minute would be pretty easy to do a bullish close, since it's a bottom wick. Okay, unless we're going to stop that right now. All right, let's see. Let's see if this is a liquidity ticking out. Took out these lows and it goes down. Or we get stopped. Hold on. Let's see if we get stopped right now, guys. Yeah, okay. 
I stopped. Yeah, I got stopped by guys. Sold. Sold. Yeah, I guess I should have waited for the 15 or 10 minute close. Nah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so what is it? I think yeah I think yeah I think right now it's going to because the uh, standard de deviations where price is right now standard deviations where price is right now um I expect the bounce I expect the bells but yeah, we did have a bearish setup this morning, but I think that I thought that after we took up this low, that was a draw, but um I'm not gonna lie, guys. Yeah, let's see. Um if we get a 15 minute bullish close, like let's say we just got taken out of liquidity, I'm gonna re-answer. Or a 10 minute close, something like that. I want a high time frame close. We'll see. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, look at that shit's dumping right now. The video is dumping. Counters and puts. Yeah, I want to see how we reacts on this pivot. I think we see a bounce right now. Yeah, I think that look the pivot and the fifty percent mark of yesterday's twelve PM and today's high eight thirty, the fifty percent and the pivot is exactly the same level. So I think price is gonna bounce off this right here. I think price is gonna bounce. Yeah, I think this was the that manipulation. Yeah, hundred percent. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. People that to this unicorn, they're still honestly, yo. Uh, this is a lower setup. This is a way lower probable setup. Actually, no, never mind. Uh, actually, we do. This is a lower probable setup. It's 12 minute, but NQ. So people that entered the breaker, they mostly just got stopped out to break even. I took it the slow. But I think that we have these equal lows. It's kind of risky to enter off this. I think it's kind of risky to enter off that. Yeah, so 
Yeah, I should have waited for the 15 minute close, guys, but. Can't do anything about them now. Come on. Yeah, definitely, this is generating liquidity right now to the upside. But I want to see if it, I want to see if ES will take up these equal lows first. All right, so ten minute, so it's ten minute and fifteen. My internet is ass, not loading. We are not got a bullish close. Unless let's say the next ten minutes or fifteen minutes, let's say we get a bullish close. Do I want to enter long again? Do I want to enter long again? Because at 15, we got a really nasty close to the downside. We got to change the structure right here, guys. We got to change the structure to the downside. But look at price. Look at price right now. It's reacting really fast. You notice how perfectly it's wicking off this pivot zone and the 50% mark of this whole range of this. Uh, yesterday, went, uh, yesterday 12 p.m. and today's 8.30 high. The 50% is exactly where the pivot is. It's where we're wicking off right now. So, two options. We close below. Now we're going to continue to the downside. Or this is just to generate liquidity to the upside. But ES is like not moving at all. Like people are still in this breaker trade probably. But if, if the liquidity is lower guys, then we're targeting Wednesday's low. 100% we're targeting Wednesday's low. So let's say, for example, that this whole leg is manipulation, which it definitely is. And we're kind of at the standard deviation right now. Unless if this whole leg is manipulation, then, then yeah, we're targeting yeah probably like Wednesday low, Wednesday PM low. So we're gonna mark these two lows out right here. And this is where the pivot zone is too, not the secondary one. Okay. But if we do get a bullish 10 minute or 15 minute close, I'm honestly might re try to re-enter, guys. I'm still kind of confident in this play. I just want to see, just want to be confident where price will react. Around it's 10 o'clock, so yeah, I think right now, guys, low time frame setup, guys, possibly might play out. Let's see if it does. We have this we, five minute close. I'm gonna wait for the high time frame, uh, because we entered the five minute close and we just got dicked. So I want to see if we can wait for possibly 10 minute or 15. Because yesterday, I both of my trades I entered on the 15, and that shit went crazy. That shit went crazy. So let's see if I can recreate that. Um Actually Loki twenty so yeah, twenty minute fifteen. You guys, I'm ready for a bullish close right now, guys. I'm gonna mark this. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm gonna mark this for a valley gap. Oh, this was a daily for valley gap right here. I should have known. I should have seen that. Yeah, this is a daily right here. And Q tapped. This is a daily, guys. Daily for valley gap. Should have seen that. So maybe then. Kind of question my bias a tiny bit. Kind of question my bias a tiny bit. And we have this order block right here. Don't want to mark this whole. Th I'm probably just gonna mark this body. Daily OB body. Let's mark the body right here. So yeah, um, I kind of question my bias a tiny bit because this is a daily. Fair value gap. That kind of makes sense now why the price is dumping this hard. Kind of makes sense why the price is dumping this hard. We could put, guys, we could potentially see a scalp entry targeting these equal lows. The quicks, like, yeah, like quick scalp, just 
quick two to one target these lows very easy we could do that potentially so this is a one hour inverse one hour ob inverse inverse order block What the fuck is that? Are you, are you participating in paying for your taxes? Because I gotta do that today and I'm like low-key gonna be broke as fuck after. Bro, I'm gonna have no bread after taxes. This is, now I understand why rappers go broke, dude. Now I understand why rappers go broke. Yeah, bro, they just spent all their money, and then now they pay taxes, and they just get broke as shit. Because they forget taxes is a thing. I look at it too, so I got, I'm getting fucked. Um, don't want to mark this one hour for value gap. Fuck, I'm going to mark it, even though we're kind of about to disrespect it. One hour for value gap. I'm just, I'm, right now, guys, I'm just trying to find price where it's going to react to the upside. I just want to see a point where price can react. Because we try to enter long, we, we took a stab, we got stopped out. Because John Liquidity is probably still lower. So, like, ready, guys? In four minutes, let's say we have a bullish close. Are we going to enter long? I might take a stab with one contract. Might take a stab with one contract, guys. If we have a bullish close in a 10 minute. Don't know if I'm gonna alert on the Discord, but we'll see. Um, that no, that's fucking six hundred tick trade, something like that. Let's see how 10 or 15 closes. 10, 10 minute might close. I think it'll close bullish. But don't, don't want to wait for 10 or 15. Let's see. I'll, I'll wait for 15 minute, guys. 15 minutes have been paying me good since yesterday. 15 minutes doing me good. Just going to fat ass stop again. So careful, guys. I have a general to stop. So the price keeps going up. God damn. God damn. Motherfucker wants. Motherfucker wants to give me a fat ass stop, bro. Chill the fuck out. Insanely huge stop. Okay, let's see a little retrace. Come on. Insanely big stop, but yeah. Now, I with this wick, guys, I'm very confident now because we took it this liquidity to the downside. Now, with this reaction, this this strong move of a candle gives me more confidence to the upside. So, I don't care how big the candle is, I'm gonna have a fat stop, but I'm more confident to display because we have a 15 minute close. So, let's see how the next um, what seven minutes. 10 minute candle is going to close in 2 minutes. 1 minute and a half. So let's see. Yeah, because we reacted on this pivot point as well. Yeah, so I, I definitely think if we have a bullish 15 minute close, I think very possible, guys, we can target these highs. Jesus Christ, calm the fuck down. Bro wants you to have a 5 million tick stop. Holy shit. Bro, 
Bro, my stop loss is gonna be like the fucking size of the earth, bro. Holy shit, calm down. I might enter in a 15 minute, but raise my stop. But, oh, Jesus Christ, look at this, guys. Look at this right here. Yeah, 10 minute close is gonna look really nice. Alright, so guys, um. By the time the 15 minute candle closes, we're gonna have a 5 minute fair value because around this is the 10 10. And then, let's see if we get a bullish fair value up. Might wait for a re entry. Might wait for a retrace. Then enter long while the 15 minute candle closes. I'm gonna be back, guys. One sec. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. So was the was it ten minute candle to move? But bro, my stop would be fucking insane, dude. Fat ass stop though. That's what I don't like about it. I think the one minute entry is possibly this ten oh nine candle, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry. Ten eleven entry off this ten oh nine favorite gap. Um Holy shit, price is just pumping, bro. Wow. If I take this entry, there's like no point because my stop loss is just fucking massive. Unless if I raise my stop to, to this low. Holy shit, dude. Wow. Yeah, so we were definitely liquidity, guys. This is, right now, this move to the downside from what? 953, sorry. 9.52 to this low right here, 10.03, is just us getting stopped out. 
the liquidity. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna answer off this possible, like off this 955 high. I think today's one of those days where TGR is gonna pop off, one of those breaker trades. Um, where would just the question is see on the woman where would you stop be that low as well? Because you're taking the same entry, like, this, like you. I I guess I could have entered off the ten minute, the ten minute close. That would have been not a bad idea. Now I'd be how many, I'll be up sixty four ticks right now, but my stop is. 182 ticks, that's huge. If my tick profit is like 400 ticks and my final TP is 500 ticks. Facts. You could still wait. Oh, look at this 25 minute close. Look at that. 25 minute close is low key, kind of tough as fuck. We could still possibly see a 30 minute close, guys. Like, let's say if price in the next 15, 14 minutes retraces, then the 30 minute will probably follow through, and then we will have a better risk reward entry. Because this, like, I could have entered off the 10 minute, but the risk or the stop loss is just way too big. Oh, wow, look at this. Price is just pumping, guys. So, most likely, if. Yeah, it's about to take up the high. Once it takes up the high, then I think we're going to take up these lows. We'll see. Maybe price will continue up. Because I, I liked my original entry. just that it wanted to take out the low one more time. Take us out of the trade. Now look at price pumping. So looking back, maybe I think I like the 10-minute close on in Q. But I'm going to wait for the 30-minute close. Because, for example, let's say the next... 14 minutes guys we retrace sorry now 13 minutes the next 13 minutes let's say we retrace for example to the five minute right by the time the 30 minute closes we're gonna have a better risk reward entry so i want to see how the 30 minute closes fuck 25 minute close like that too yeah let's see the 30 minute close guys so yeah if you guys are going to take this trade if we get if we get another opportunity, if you take this trade, do really light risk because we have a fat stop loss, super fat stop. That's why the percent was huge because we have a fat stop. But I entered light risk, so I didn't lose that much. So Loki now Alex, I might just wait for a 15 minute close or 10 minute close honestly now. Five minute was good, it's just that I maybe I should have waited for a better candle. Not too sure. Cause yeah, I liked my entry in the beginning, but unfortunately we're liquidity. Yeah, people entering off the 10 minute close when I was baking bread. Yeah, up 84 ticks. So for it to be a one-to-one, -one, 182. So they need to go to this order block or this daily fair value gap. That's a that's a good TP1. And I think it's going to hit it. This daily order block right here. No, sorry. Uh, fair value gap. We'll see though. Now we have equal highs and equal lows. We have double liquidity. We have double liquidity. This is interesting now. We have equal lows, equal highs. Let's see what price does, guys. We could wait for the 20 minute close because the 20 minute close is in one minute. But it's still, my stops could be. Yeah, so I'm probably going to wait for 30 minute close, guys.
Yeah, most likely, I think the 30 minute candle is going to be tough as fuck. We'll wait and see, guys. So, yeah, I don't see how 20 minute close. So, 20 minute close is, yeah, 20 minute candle just closed. Don't like this candle at all because our stop loss is fucking size of my cock. So, you don't want that. Yo, how's Connor doing? Let's see what Connor's doing right now. Connor's in the video. Okay, the video's retracing. Is Connor gonna enter more puts? Is Connor gonna wait for a retrace for more puts? That's a question. Or is Connor's gonna enter longs so and say fuck you? This? That's pre market. That's uh that's uh as afternoon, pre market trading day. It's not an indicator. You have it too. I'm just colorblind, so I need that shit. Oh, okay. I want to see the 30 minute close. Close to the 5 minute farewell. Yeah, that would be kind of ideal. That would be kind of ideal, guys. Because people, people entering off this 11-11 might get stopped on break even now. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to wait for 9 more minutes for 30 minute close. I want to see it. A bullish 30 minute close, guys. If we don't get a bullish close, then I'm not entering. Yeah, look at that big. So people entering. So if people with the st tight stop loss, they enter ten eleven, got stopped. Uh, and we never mind. I was gonna say we have internal SMT, but we don't. Yeah, I want to see other and ES equal highs and equal lows get taken. What would be ideal is if the equal lows get taken, they would come to target the upside. I'd right, see eight more minutes how the scan closes. Yes, we're in this five minute for really up, guys. In the next seven minutes, I want to see how, um, where the 30 minute closes. Because where the 30 minute closes, if it closes a bullish, we're going to be in this trade for a long time, most likely. And I might sell most of my position at this, um, daily for value gap just because the pivot point's right there at the bottom of it. So a lot of sellers. Like if we if we somehow break through this daily for value gap, which I don't think we will, it's super. Actually, we might. Um, then we're gonna target yeah these highs from CPI, and this high up here. Yeah, but I, I want to see price not close so far ahead like this. <clears throat> <sighs> I really don't want to miss this trade because I think I know it's going to go to the upside, but this I don't know if the risk of war is even worth it. Be honest. Okay. Yes, take equal highs maybe. No, it's just like if I enter like for example, let's say thirty minute closed right now. My freaking 
That stops 200 ticks. That's huge. Even though I'm entering two contracts micros, which is nothing, but I don't want to. I don't want to have a 200 tick stop. I don't care what size I'm in. It's just way too big of a stop. Price is lucky reacting on this five minute. Sorry, that's six minute. Yeah, lucky six minute order block. The body of it. It's kind of reacting off that. I think we're gonna keep pushing the upside. Yeah, I think ideal Loki 10 minute. 10 minute might have been the move. 10 minute close. Um, yeah, but we got five more minutes. Let's see how five, five minutes, 30 minute closes. I might, okay, let's see. If the 30 minute closes, I might just enter up on the 30 minute, but just raise my stop to some random low. Like the 15 minute low. That's what I might do. So like, for example, like, let's say it closes right now. My stop will probably be like at the either at the the body low, the 30 minute body, right? Uh, which is how, how, how many, oh shit. How many ticks stop is that? It's 156 ticks, it's still a lot. Yeah, so ES took a DT equal highs just now, waked by one tick. Be sick as if you made another lower low, and this would be used manipulation to the upside. Maybe this. Maybe. I want to see a thirty minute close, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Discord. Looking for a thirty minute close. Um. Looking for a thirty minute. Candle close, but it it will most likely likely have a big big stop. So enter light risk. So guys, when I say a big stop, that means just enter lighter because then we will have a possible chance of losing more. Obviously. Okay, well this honestly yo, that'd be crazy if the 30 minute closes is bearish. I'll be shocked if that happens. No, I'm waiting for 30 minute close. This is bullish. Okay, right now it's 130 ticks. It's still huge, but like not as big as it was before. Uh, let's see the next two minutes how the 30 minute closes guys if it is a bullish close I'm gonna enter light risk and we're probably gonna be in this trade for a long ass time most likely unless if it's bearish wow if that's a bearish close I'll be shocked I'll be shocked dude with a minute and a half of this candle I will be super surprised if this is a bearish close. I will be shocked. Then I might wait for the 45 minute candle then. But no, no, 45 minute candle. Nah, it's for it to be bullish, it needs to push up so high up. But look, let's say it closes right now. We get a super tiny doji candle. Do I still want to answer? I don't know. But yeah, we have, one, we have like 50 seconds left of this candle. If this closes as bearish, I'd be super surprised. Wow. 40 more seconds of this candle, guys. Let's see. Like, let's say we get a super, barely a bullish close. Don't want to enter. I, I will enter, but I won't be as confident, guys. I right, see the next twenty seconds to get a bullish close. Oh, 
Now we got bullish close. I'm going to enter. Stop loss will be below this. And I'm just going to set my TP ambitious as fuck, like over here probably. So whatever, so we're not set it here. <clears throat> Oops, not buy three, fuck. Uh, sell three. Okay, I forgot to alert. I'm going to alert Discord. Big stop loss. So guys, if you're entering, have super light risk because this is a huge stop. So yeah, entered off this 30 minute close, guys. 30 minute close. Let's check in the lower time frame, how's it going on? Yeah, so in the five minute, I wanna see this 10 o'clock came to act as an order block. And even though, so even though ES did take up this high by tick, I think there's still more liquidity up there just because um, we barely took it out. And okay guys, so that's 10.15 high on NQ is gonna be our break even point. So this high, probably gonna be TP1. So TP1, TP1, break even point, BE point. TP1 BE points. Um, TP2. Oops. Um, I'll set my TP2 to here, and TP3 is up here. Nah, TP2 should be up here, guys. TP2. It's gonna be here. Alright, see so price can react right now, guys. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see if we can stop that or not. Uh, TP1 is going to be here. TP2 is right here. This daily fair value gap. And TP3 is all the way up here at 830 highs. Don't like on a one minute this. 1027 fair value gap is reacting. Want to see us break through that. Let's see if you can break through that. I want to see this 10 o'clock candle act as an order block. And I like how we're reacting on this pivot zone. I want to see a strong reaction though to the upside. I want to see a stronger reaction, guys. Yes, yeah, so we 30 minute close as a doji. I want to see it used as a reversal candle, guys. I want to see this use as a reversal. Yeah. If ES takes up this equal low, I still want us to be in this trade. I don't want us to get stopped out, but we might. We'll see. I right, react on this pivot zone. I want to see this ten o'clock on the five minute be used as a order block. I like how this pivot point on order blocks respect. I want to see it continue. Because what's our biggest our biggest op right now in the one minute is this 10, 10 27. Yeah. 
think this leg's gonna be position 100%. Notice it, guys, that if you go to 15 minute time frame on NQ, we keep wicket in the same area. That's where the pivot zone is. That's when the 50% mark of the order block, not order block, one hour for Vela get. But if we disrespect, uh, yeah, we need to see this 10 27 one minute for Vela get, get disrespected because. People are at the short right here, guys. 100%. I want to see that get disrespected, to be honest. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Actually, wait. Um... We do have bullish SMT with with ES and NQ right here in the five. Right here. Oops, sorry. Let me go lower time frame to see this more clearly. So in three minute. Yeah. We have another bullish SMT, but ES took out these lows. So I think ES right now can have a push up. So SMT right here. Actually wait, no we don't, my bad. No with these lows. Yeah, right here. So we have SMT right here, bullish one right here, guys. Boom. Yeah. Right here, SMT, see that? But I want to see price react well. Once we're baked, right now we created a three minute farewell gap. This is manipulation right here, this leg. Then yeah, this is probably another yeah. I think that guy I still think the drawing liquidity is higher, just that Oh my god, fucking idiot. So they just actually look Look at their made yeah, oh fuck, oh my god. Oh shit. I don't think a lot of people took that. I will, yeah. Fucking idiot, holy shit. Yeah, not, like I said, 1027, we're gonna break through that. Yeah, so and on ES, before the five, three minute for Villa, I wanna see if you come up, wanna see that get respected. Yeah, so my TP1 is right where this one hour fair value gap is. So right where this high is, right here. This, sorry, I'm retarded. 30 minute fair value gap. So if you come up to TP1, that's where 30 minute fair value gap is. So that's a good, which is uh, this high right here. 10, 16 high. So if you do come up, good, take profit, good, break even zone. Because I think I'd, if we trim there, that's, yeah, it's a 1.3 risk to reward. Okay. A little bit higher than a 1 to 1. Yeah, so we have internal SMT. I want to see that used into effect. There you go. Let's see us break through the 1027, guys. There you go. Love this candle, guys. Might even enter another contract based on how this candle creates a Fervella gap. We'll see. We'll see us break to 1027. 
The worst case, what might happen is, see how it's consolidating? It broke out, so this might be a fake out for longs, and then it um, drew to swing. It's like a consolidation, fake out one direction, and then it goes the other way. So, that's what I do not want to see if that's the case. Don't look at one minute. Stop looking at one minute. Nick, yeah, this is three minute for value gap. I don't want, yeah. Before the three minute NQ, I don't want to don't want to see that used as a strong point. Like I said, consolidation broke out one way as a fake out, and it goes the other way. I don't want to see that happen right now. Let's we'll see buyers step up. Dude, I just realized the people that entered short my first call out, they made it fucking bread. <laughs> they caught like 200 ticks. My stop loss was like 100 ticks. If they entered normal size, they probably would have made like, I think, yeah, 50% type shit. Yo, Alex, I was watching the shorts on your Instagram. Bro, bro's finally turned to a better speaker. Yeah, bro. I was like, bro's more confident. Yeah, more bro's more confident. Now you're like, now you're like natural. Now like Joe Rogan's up next, right? Next guest. Because before, in the beginning, in the beginning, you guys would stutter. You guys would be scared to say something. Now you guys are really confident. You present yourself well now. Mike? Bro, but I think he's... Dude, if he if he does the niche, he's doing... I think he's going to fall off super fast. Because I... You know what I see? Dude, Mike's smart. Because I see a lot of people... This is a new trend. They get like a terrible dash cam. And they start talking about life. And they go viral. I, I just see like... Like this one random black guy. You know what I'm talking about? That's what Mike does. I'm like, I'm like damn. This, this is like a new trend now. Yeah, th like I think I think the twenty twenty four money move is to do the Discord shit or like Telegram. All right, if we're still in the trade in the next like thirty minutes, fuck. I, what do I do? Am I? No, no. I was gonna say in the next thirty minutes, like, what do I do? If I'm still in the trade, do I leave the? Do I leave the YouTube recording still running and I come back and I end the video? It's basically like four hours long. <laughs> yeah, I'll end the ticket, then I'll take a screenshot and how the trade ended. Uh, so what are, what are we reacting off? We, did, we made a new high, but now we quickly went down. Yeah, so right now we're... Uh, Coming, it's 11 o'clock, so right now, 
I don't I don't want to see price consolidate. I don't want to be here for a long time, guys. So if I'm, yo, if I'm here for a long time, I might just sell like two of my contracts at TP1, set stop loss break even, and just go to school. Or I might just sell all at TP1 and just go. Because TP1 is a 30 minute fair value gap, so it's a high confluence sell zone. Alright, let's see if we can break through this for really got stronger this time. So up here is, I think it's a three minute for really on NQ, right? Yeah, so let's see if we can close above the three minute for really Possibly make a new high. Higher highs, right? Like that candle, let's see how we close. Yeah, so right now price is low-key scared to come up to this high. Bro, this this little move that we're up already, this is already 72 ticks. This little move's already 72 ticks. And that's like, for me when I traded NQ, that, that used to be super tough. Wait, actually no, I don't think it is, my bad. Wait, it's, how many ticks is it? Let me check. Not ah, 70, yeah, right? Yes, damn it. Seems like nothing. Yeah, we're not price consolidating. We keep reacting off this high. What do we have here? Possible one minute inverse. Maybe an internal order block. I'm not really too sure. Because I guarantee people are entering Unicorn right now, too. This is a possible Unicorn setup. Like, they entered on the 5 minute off this. So, they entered 10.20 off this 10 o'clock. But... Uh, not really a breaker, but this order block. Loki, what might be reacting is off this five minute nine forty five, the full the full wick and body of it. Because notice how we're that might be that, that might be an order block. I'm, I'm I'm gonna mark it out just in case. I don't think it's a strong one, but we'll see if it is. I don't think it's strong. We'll see though. We gotta break through this high, guys. This little consolidation zone. We gotta break through that. Keep wicking off that. I'm not liking that at all. How we keep wicking. So, one to one to be right here, guys. Uh, 11. So, right here is a one to one. If the one hour closes bullish, guys, I might have some more contracts. If the one hour closes bullish, most likely will enter more contracts. Holy shit, there you go, guys. Let's see if we can hit TP1 now.
I want to see us fall through because we're never making lower lows. Yes, and keeps making higher highs. So the next ten minutes, I want to see how this one hour closes. Might some more, maybe, possibly. Okay, wait, bush, bull, bear system T right here, guys. But it's a low time frame, so I'm not really too, too scared of that. All right, let's see if we can hit TV one, guys. Come on, let's keep let's see price push. <clears throat> and this is a high confluence zone because this is a thirty minute for belly gap at this high. So that's why it's a good trim slash breaking point. We have a 10 minute for Velga over here. I want to see us disrespect that if we come up. Let's see if this 1027 could be used as an inverse for us to go higher. We have one hour closes in eight minutes. The one hour closes bullish, that gives me way more confidence. Even might answer one more contract, even though it's like way up here, just because I'm confident in this play. Like for the internal model, like if this is the manipulation, at least this high right here, at least this high, guys. I think I think this whole leg, right here, especially this one right here, is manipulation because we entered longer here, we got stopped out. No, I think this is the manipulation. Oops. Fuck it, just click on. Alright. <clears throat> uh, TP can hit TP1, guys. ES is coming up to this 10 minute Favela gap. Also, this big Favela gap right here that we've been projecting off of. Alright, see so if Price can tap into this. TP1 right now. So now we reached it once more at least. This is a good sign. Tap 10 minutes, see us break through. I don't want to see us react. Yeah, I like how this is used as inverse. I like the cinematic yeah, like camera. See how it's a doji reversal like that. I like this 30 minute close. We have six more minutes for 30 and one minute close. No, not one minute, one hour. Not really liking how it's a slow push to the upside. Possibly mean that's building liquidity for this 30 minute before we uh, dump. And also, yeah, it's. Let's go say it's reactive this 10 minute for Vela Gap. <sighs> did we take out this high? Yeah, we made. Did we touch it though? No, we did not touch it. No, we did not. Yeah, don't like this strong reaction right now. 
Like I said, you see how it's building up right there? Now this is a big push to the downside. Yeah, it just was. It's pushing to TP1. Now this candle don't like. ES tapped into a 10 minute for Vela gap just now. I was saying to YouTube that I want to see us break this 10 minute. Yeah, like I said, like I, I was telling YouTube that I don't like how the slow push to the upside was probably building up this volume to the downside. But look at this candle, it's huge. We'll see though. Like I said, I want, I want this 1027 to be used as an inverse, hopefully. Oh shit. How many classes you got this semester? I got four. Well, I think I have 13 credits or some shit. I, I told the, I told Discord and YouTube that I want to see... I think the one hour candle will close as bullish. We'll see in the next four minutes. If the one hour candle closes as a bullish, I might even enter more contracts. I might be more confident. We'll see. Really hoping the next, what? Um... What is it? Three and a half minutes. We see a bullish close. That'd be super tough. That'd be ideal. But right now, I want ES to break through this 10 minute for Villa Gap. Alright. So let's see if we can hit TP1. So we, we hit a 1 to 1 risk reward already. So we already went up by 111 ticks. How many ticks do we go up by? Yeah, 123. So. How many is 121 ticks on the NQ? 121, 121 ticks. 119 ticks is what? Yeah, 600 bucks already. So that's already a great move on the NQ. So yeah, let's see in the next two and a half minutes if we get a one hour bullish close. That'll be in the 30 minute. Okay. I wanna see if price can push up a little bit more. Because the 30 minute close is still gonna be bullish as well. But ideally the one hour. If the one hour in the next two and a half minutes, see so bullish, that'd be super nice. Okay, we tapped this one minute for Vela Gap. Let's see if we can uh on bearish one. Now if it, this 1055, let's we'll see if we can break through that. Yeah, so right now we have this we have the slow push to the upside, this big move to the downside. Probably telling us that there's sellers waiting to enter shorts at this high right here 1016 because that's where the 30 minute fair value gap is that high so that's a good tp1 and good break even point all right there you go nq sorry yes is breaking through a 10 minute let's see a close <clears throat> all right let's see this come on let's see a close it's, I'm in a, yeah, I'm in a one minute. Let's go in five. So we got one minute left of the one hour candle. Let's see if this candle can close as bullish. Most likely it will, which will be, I think, will be really nice. But I don't like how ES did not close above. It just took out these equal highs. It's internal one minute equal highs. But did not break through the Favela gap. And volume spiked up. Volume on ES spiked up. Yeah, we formed internal SMT. I don't like that. But it's internal, and our trade's based off external, high time frame. We enter off the 30-minute close. I have 10 more seconds left of the one hour. And now this high, that is our TP1. Okay, there you go. Love this close. So now this TP1 that we have is the 30-minute fair value gap, and now it's the one-hour fair value gap. So this is... I don't know if I should sell two, but... I'm just gonna sell one, keep. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna hit TP right now. Hold on. 
So yeah, that's a good TP1, guys. Let's see if we can hit it. Yeah, let's see if you guys can break through that 10 minute favela gap. Um. Okay. Yeah, we have this internal bearish SMT, which I'm not too pleased about, to be honest. But I like how this 1027 is being used as a inverse. I love that. I love that, how it's being used as inverse right now. <clears throat> you gonna sell early? Alright. Peace out. Still confidence play, guys. Yeah, not liking that movement right now. That's a pretty big candle to the downside. It's because we have this internal SMT right here. Yeah, right here, we have this internal SMT. I don't know if those are break even, guys. Probably, yeah. We'll see. I like how I took these lows. I'm still confident for this play because the one hour close, guys. Which is the one to hold this? I might take off two contracts, so it's less risk. So here we can stop that. We'll see. Then am I gonna get stopped up <clears throat> so you can get a bounce at least? Damn, this is gonna get me out of the trade. Hopefully this can be used manipulation. And we're gonna stop that. Is it gonna stop me out right now? <clears throat> if it come back to my break, you know, I'm just gonna close it there, but I think we'll get stopped. So 
Sold. Wow. Wow. After 35 minutes of the trade, just get stopped out. Yeah. Wow. And look, where, where are we just liquidity? Maybe. Wow. Oh, yeah. I guess we took it this slow. Because my, my reading was wrong. I guess my bias is probably wrong. But this, this week is kind of... Wow. Okay. Unfortunate. So I'm going to end the YouTube video there, guys. Two losses today. Bias is wrong. So, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.